All right. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one. Um, I'm here at work and I have to start the video now because we're doing an odd eats today, which you can tell by the title and thumbnail already what it is, but uh, this soup takes about five to six hours to cook. And so it's right at noon. So if I want it in time for supper tonight, I need to get this thing rolling. So uh, real quick, I'm gonna get everything going in the pot. We'll have some stuff to do because it'll be a while before it's actually ready to eat. But I want to show you guys what all I'm putting into it. Kind of curious how it'll turn out. Uh, yeah, we're going to make a sauerkraut soup, which is different enough to start out with. And then, you know, add some special ingredients to make it even better. So um, I have a short lunch break, so I need to get into this. Let's go get the stuff into the crock pot. Uh, and then we'll get on with the day. So the acoustics in here are really bad. I haven't filmed in here in a while. but. I think I have everything here to make my soup, except for bacon. I don't have any bacon fried up. Oh well. Uh, so, what I've got is I have two pounds, it only calls for a pound, but I got two pounds of Polish sausage, I got celery, carrots, I have sauerkraut, has been rinsed and drained. I have a potato, mushrooms, I've got chicken broth, dill, and our secret ingredient. Poor guys, aren't you excited? Can't you just taste already? Uh, anyway, I gotta get this stuff. We're gonna do a little, you know, not really time map, but I can speed it all up as I cut stuff up, throw it in there. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. Uh, so, two pounds might have been a little bit ambitious, but we're gonna start putting a bunch. Yeah, we're not gonna put all of it yet because that might got carried away. Uh, put our sauerkraut in there. Oh, this is getting full fast. Um, Put our secret ingredient in. Think the kids will eat it? No? I'm trying to get my wife to talk on video because I know you guys love that, but uh, it's not working very well. Thanks for filming though, hon. Doesn't that look awesome? No. Yeah, it looks awesome. I'm gonna get the rest of the stuff cut up really quick. Um, we'll get going. Now this potato is actually already a little parboiled. Um, hopefully it'll stay intact. Uh, I might need a bigger pot. And some dill wheat. Some vinegar. All right. She's ready to go sit for about five, six hours. We'll do some other stuff in between then, but uh, yeah, stick around. This is gonna be fun. So it rained all afternoon so far. So we're gonna go home and we're gonna see uh, what all we can get drummed up. I've got my soup with me. It's not quite done yet. I still gotta go home. It's got cooked for about another hour or so, but you know, I can hardly wait. Well, here at the house, time to check on all the little birds. I'm working on making space for them, like hard. Got a new battery, got those guys up. I got all the big chickens out of here, all the quail and everything. They're all in those batteries for right now. It's just temporary um, until I can get a bigger space for them, which is actually Here's what I'm working on. So, in here is where the chickens are gonna live. I haven't showed you guys this area yet. Uh, out here is where the turkeys get raised at. But I wanna put like roosts and nests and all sorts of stuff. This right here, actually I can open up and it goes straight outside uh, the barn there. I think there's another one actually over here. Yeah, there's another one right there. So I have two spots where I can let the birds out of here. I do need to cover up the holes. Something broke out my windows. So I'll get that fixed. But uh, a lot of the chicks and stuff are gonna be moved over here. I just haven't got it done yet. Um, but I'm making progress. I'm making good progress. So hopefully, hopefully here this next week or so, I'll get a whole bunch of that stuff patched up. But anyway, that is some of my improvements. 
But anyway, let's go look at these guys. Turkeys. Got three bourbon reds left still. Haven't sold any of those in a while. Uh, a bunch of coaching bantams. The quail are crowing like crazy. I have to say though, watching these runner ducks and geese, it's just hilarious to me. I mean, look at them. I just gave them some fresh water, so they're like going absolutely nuts. <laughs> you guys look ridiculous. Oh, it makes me laugh. I just enjoy watching them so much. I think they're a lot of fun. Silkies and more Polish are doing good. I wanted to buy more birds. Obviously, I need more space uh, before I get anything new. Just wanted to give you guys a little update on how everything is in here. I need to get these guys moved out though, because they're big enough where they don't need the heat, and it gets warm enough in here that they, I think they're getting a little bit uncomfortable. The pigeons that I let fly around still, you know, the ones that live in that little loft, the two that I have left uh, that are raising that set of young ones, they are just cruising around today. I love watching them. Can't wait till the racers have like a good 30, 40 birds where I can separate them out and actually just like fly a big group of them. I can't wait. It's gonna be so much fun. Anyway, the goats want fed. Ryan! Dude! Where are you going? Hey, dude, we have a name for you. We do. But let's feed you first. There you go. Obviously, have some drainage problems right now. Ryan, I know you're trying to protect your herd, but you really, really just need to chill out for a little bit. I, st I still see you. You've gotten angry, dude. Anyway, big boy here. Now, you guys dropped a ton of different names. Typically when I name something, uh, there's one that is easily like suggested way more than the others. There were a lot of different names, a lot. Like I kind of breeze through, you guys have been dropping so many comments, I'm trying to keep up the best I can. Uh, my app isn't showing me all of them apparently. So I'm going through and I'm trying to keep up the best that I can. So if I miss you guys, I'm sorry, but you guys are awesome. You guys are blowing me away. But let me read through some of these names. Uh, apparently, you guys are really into the letter B for the Billy because we have Bill, Billy, Boris, Brock, Buckwheat, Browning, Buck, Buckley, Butch, Buster, Brutus, and Big Willie along with Spartacus, Seamus, Shaq, Mike Honcho, Melvin, Champion, Carlos, Thor, and Randy. Those are the names that I could find right off the top. I made, I made a list, can you tell? Um, and so I just decided, he's my goat. You guys gave me great suggestions. I'm gonna pick the name I like best. And today, without consulting my wife, which means it might change, hopefully not, uh, guys, meet Seamus. I'm not sure why, Seamus, but I, I like the way it looked. Ryan, that's gross. Quit. That is not good water, dude. Karen is pregnant. I am 99% sure. Uh, everyone else uh, doesn't seem to be joining her in that process yet, but if Seamus there does his job, hopefully that will change. So, uh, I also said something a video or two ago. Uh, about my old ladder that I used up in the pigeon lock. So I want to show you guys. I still have it. There were a few of you that remembered, well, a lot of you guys that remembered, but a few of you that actually remembered the name of the sketchy ladder. Now, this is what I used to use to get all the way up into the rafters. It actually was the same thing I used to get up into the loft, but it has a break in one side, so you had to make sure that you climbed it from a certain way. I mean, look at this thing. It is rickety you can shake it and it'll move either way it was definitely a death trap my wife would get very very angry every time i used it it's not that far of a fall but it's enough that it could get you know pretty dangerous pretty quick so anyway i just thought i'd show you guys the sketchy ladder just in case you guys were curious actually what it was called you guys think i should feed you huh okay i will in just a second
well, obviously I'm driving through town now. It's a little bit later, but I was just thinking, I was like, I know a bunch of you guys in that same video asked for a name for the Billy Goat. Uh, I also asked for a name for the three-time winner champion, which there's one name that was way, way more popular than anything else. Like probably over 50% of the suggestions were the same name, uh, but there were some really funny ones too, so. Uh, but we will do that in a different video. We're gonna, we'll have another pigeon video. I'm gonna try and do a pigeon video a week if everything works out right. But yeah, this is an odd eats one, so we can't, you know, get way too carried away with pigeons and stuff. But the reason I'm heading into town right now is I need to get something for my new animals that I'm getting. But there's a few people that did guess it, and uh, we haven't quite gotten to the point yet where I can get them. I'm still waiting for them to be ready. There's uh, a couple things which will make perfect sense when you guys find out what it is uh, that have to happen before I can get them yet. So, but I gotta get some stuff for their pen. So that's what we're doing now. Okay. What kind of water tank shall we get? I'd love to get one of these. I mean, 300 gallon, that's a little bigger than I want. I don't want a metal one because they tend to rust it on me real quick. So, we we'll get another one like we had for the goats. It's a little shallow, but you know, it might work. Hmm. That's way too small. Yeah, we want something bigger than that. 60 bucks, what about this? Ooh, maybe. I think that'll work. Probably, man, that'll get really heavy though if I ever want to move it. Hmm, but while I'm deciding on that, wow, barbed wire is 75 bucks too? I need to get some barbed wire, like badly. Uh, the Billy Go is jumping the fence, so I need to make it a little bit taller. Originally, I had got eight foot T-posts, that way I could make six foot fence. The fence I have is four foot, just like that. So I need some barbed wire on top. But, uh, not today. But you know what? I might be biting off more than what I can chew. We're gonna go with that one. It's plenty big. Definitely big enough. Now I gotta go buy it. Well, I have gotten home, been here for about an hour, dug myself a hole, did all sorts of stuff. Uh, the size of the tank I got may be a little bit misleading. Now, I'm not gonna tell you guys if you get it right anymore, because I'm making it, I'm putting some pretty good hints out there. But uh, yeah, so that's what the water's gonna be. Mm-hmm. Probably a little bit bigger of a hint. You guys will probably figure it out. I'll just give you a thumbs up whenever you guess. I'm not saying you're right, but if you guys drop a comment and guess what it is, you're just gonna get a thumbs up. Whatever it is. Uh, anyway, soup's done. We should go in and try that. Ooh, look at that. I'm excited. All right, uh, the lighting in here is kind of crappy. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get myself a good old bowl full. We're gonna go outside and enjoy the weather out there. I'm excited, really excited. Did you notice? Uh, so I meant to get at least one eye. <laughs> I got three of them. I'll eat at least two of them. Uh, mainly, I don't know if my kiddos who are at a graduation right now, I don't know if they want one. They do, I don't wanna rob them of that opportunity. I mean, come on, who doesn't wanna eat eyes? Anyway, I'm anyway, I'm pretty sure this is still pretty hot. So we're gonna take a tester bite really quick. Let's get some mushroom, some kraut. If I can get a piece of sausage to stay on there. Mm-hmm. That looks good. It's gonna be good. I already know that. I'm not a big soup guy. I like it. It's not how I remembered it. So it could be better. Maybe it needs a little bit of vinegar, just to bring that tart level up a little bit. I don't know, it wasn't all that hot though, so. You guys know what we need to do here. Now, right before I eat this, I do want to tell you guys about a video that's coming up in the very near future. Uh, that pigeon hunt did happen. Now, if you're one of my new subscribers who does not understand uh, why I would hunt pigeons, 
They're feral pigeons, they're wild pigeons, they're not anybody's birds. They are trapped and poisoned in the town that I ne live nearby, and so we hunt them. They're delicious. I mean, come on. I'm not just wasting them. But anyway, that video is coming, so if you want to see some pigeon action, uh, some pigeon hunting action, I should say, that is coming up. If you do not like the idea of pigeons being killed, uh, you might want to skip that video. So, just thought I'd give you guys a warning. But, here is what you guys came for. Ah, down the hatch. You guys want to see it? If you don't want to see it, look away for the next five seconds, starting now. I really couldn't tell, like it wasn't bad. The initial texture was a little off. My mind wants to tell me that was bad. Uh, but honestly, I think like when you cook it in a soup like that, it just takes on so much flavor from all the other stuff, like the sauerkraut, the sausage, you know, all that stuff. It really just sort of made it taste like the soup. I think if I would've got that in a normal bite and didn't know it was in there, would've never guessed. Like, the carrots and potatoes probably have a little bit more texture than that does. Not bad. Like, 100% not bad. I think the hard middle part of the eye, I saw one of those floating around, so I don't know if that popped out. Because I'm pretty sure there's a hard part of the eye that I did not get. So, let me dig a little bit and see if I can find one of those, just in case. Okay, after, after shuffling my soup around a little bit, I got two of them. And, uh... Kind of tested against the side of the bowl here. They are definitely hard. This was definitely not in that bite that I got a little bit ago. So I'm not exactly sure what part of the eye this is. I know some of you know. If you guys know what that is, please educate me. My uh, knowledge of said things is not quite as high. This is the part that I honestly was... Okay, there are two things that I was worried about. One, it just being super juicy and just being like an explosion of whatever is in an eye in my mouth. And this, because I knew from times past don't ask any questions, but I knew that there was a hard thing inside. So, uh, this is the part that I'm not looking forward to. Bon appetit. Mmm. Oh, I, okay. So, it's kind of has a texture of a bean. I'm going to pretend it's a bean. That, ugh. It really doesn't have a flavor kind of chalky. Not overly pleasant, but um, far from the worst thing I've eaten. I'd say that I give it probably a, actually a seven out of 10. Like I'd eat that again. It, it literally is a lot like a bean. If I just think of it as a bean, flavor wasn't bad. Yeah, I give that a seven out of 10. I'm going to try and remember to rate the rest of the odd eats that I do from this point on because just uh, it wasn't bad or that was terrible. It's kind of a horrible system. So you guys just got home. You guys going to try the soup? No. You going to try it? Try yeah. You want to try one of the eyeballs? I don't want to. Can you get it? Oh. You chew the eyeball? That's mm -hmm. gross. It tastes like nothing. It's really good. You want to try it? No. It tastes just like the soup. No, I don't. So after much negotiation, who's going to try an eyeball? Me. You are? Because I really want to get candy. <laughs> We're bribing the kids with candy to get them to eat eyeballs. You didn't really like the soup. But you're gonna try the eyeball, right? All right. Mm. What? You like it? Not too bad, huh? Is it better than what you thought? I want to have one. <laughs> you're not doing a very good convincing job, dude. This one eyeball. This one eyeball. All right. Eyeball. So tell me, what do you think it tastes this like? One eyeball. I like it a little bit. I feel like there was squishy in it. Kind of squishy? They actually don't taste that bad. 
Here, let me, whoop. All right, here you go. What do you think, Ray Ray? Squishy and juicy. Squishy and juicy. Does it taste bad? Taste good? Nice! Right on. Daddy, yeah? I want to try an eyeball. You want to try an eyeball? Okay, let me see if I can find another one. Okay, I got you an eyeball. Ready? Nope. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> Is it good? I'm not sure if she thinks that's good or not. Still chewing. All right, so the kiddos give it a thumbs up. I don't think they're sold on it. Anyway, little bonus footage there for you guys. So yeah, eyeball soup. If you guys get the chance, I enjoyed it. So while you guys listen to some outro music and click on the next video of mine, it should be one of mine, um, I'm going to go ahead and finish my dinner. So hope you guys liked the video. If you did, you guys know the drill. Hit that like button. Drop me a comment. If you want to share the video, I, you know what? I'm not even going to ask you guys to share. You guys have been killing it for me. If you haven't subscribed though, I'd really appreciate that. And if not, we'll just see you on the next one.